Good morning, good morning, good morning from Cashers, North Carolina, and happy Thursday. I'm glad we could pray together. Let's take a moment, center ourselves, and we'll begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace. That, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue reading from the Acts of the Apostles, this great story of, of Peter and God letting Peter know what he has thought of as unclean, that is, certain people are now to be thought of as clean. Now, while Peter was greatly puzzled about what to make of the vision he had seen, suddenly the men sent by Cornelius appeared. They were asking for Simon's house, and they were standing at the gate. They called out to ask whether Simon, who was called Peter, was staying there. And while Peter was still thinking about the vision, the Spirit said to him, Look, three men are searching for you. Now get up, go down, and go with them without hesitation, for I have sent them. So Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you're looking for. What is the reason for your coming? They answered, Cornelius, a centurion, and an upright and God-fearing man, who is well spoken of by the whole Jewish nation, was directed by a holy angel to send for you, to come to his house and to hear what you have to say. So Peter invited them in and gave them lodging. The next day he got up and went with them, and some of the believers from Joppa accompanied him. The following day they came to Caesarea. Cornelius was ex expecting them and called together his relatives and close friends. On Peter's arrival, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, worshipped him. But Peter made him get up, saying, Stand up, I am only a mortal. And as he talked with him, he went in and found that many had assembled. And he said to them, You yourselves know that it is unlawful for a Jew to associate with or to visit a Gentile. But God has shown me that I should not call anyone profane or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. Now may I ask what you sent for me about? And Cornelius said, Four days ago at this very hour at three o'clock, I was praying in my house, and suddenly a man in dazzling clothes stood before me. He said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your alms have been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa, and ask for Simon, who is called Peter. He is staying at the house of Simon a tanner by the sea. Therefore I sent for you immediately, and you have been kind enough to come. Now all of us are here in the presence of God to listen to all the Lord has commanded you to say. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle this morning comes from Revelation 15. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will fall down 
draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading is the the last passages of the Gospel of Luke. While they were talking about all this, his disciples were talking about all this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. <clears throat> you are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father has promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with the power from on high. Then Jesus led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up to heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray in this prayer for the church. Most gracious Father, we humbly beseech thee for thy holy Catholic church. Fill it with all truth and in all truth with all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is an error, direct it. Where anything is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen and confirm it. Where it is in want, furnish it. Where it is divided and rent asunder, make up the breaches of it. For thou art the Holy One of Israel. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that from Archbishop Bull in the 16th century. This prayer from Ian Bunting, also from the church. O Lord Jesus Christ, Prince of Peace, break down the barriers which separate us from each other and from God, our Father. Teach Christians to love each other across walls of color, class, and creed. Forgive us, too, the excuses we make for our own prejudice. And lead us captive in your cause of peace and goodwill on earth, and all for your name's sake. Amen. And this prayer for rulers and leaders around the world. Sovereign Lord of humanity and nations, we pray for rulers, statesmen and stateswomen who are called to leadership among their fellow countrymen and countrywomen. Give them vision to see far into the issues of their time, courage to uphold what they believe is right, and integrity in their words and motives. And may their service to their people promote the welfare and peace of all humanity. 
This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And that prayer by Basil Naylor. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Great to be with you this morning. See you next time. Have a blessed day.